Tedelic Entertainment. And um, with that kind of silence that I was not fully expecting, <laughs> welcome to uh, my new own project, which is called Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. Um, Edna and Harvey is a video game series which consists so far out of two games. The first one is called Edna's Breakout, and um, well, this one is the second one, Harvey's New Eyes. This one is um, a bit better looking, a bit all all in all better made. I, I like this one more than the first one. Um, and as they and as one doesn't fully depend on another, um, you can just basically play the second one without having played the first one. So therefore, I will start with this one. Of course, this project is something um, something not really well known. I think, especially in in English speaking countries or other countries than Germany, this game is not really known because this company, uh, which you've seen at the beginning, Dadalik Entertainment, is a German company and is it is it is in a a, I call it a newcomer company, and um, especially as it does uh, point-and-click adventure games, it is not. It's just not very known. But I, but I will, I will show you this game because I really like it, and I really enjoyed it playing the first time. And um, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it then as well. So we're going to do uh, a new game. Seems like you need to be solaced Telling from the scratch on your knee You fell and got hurt in the process And now you come crying to me I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants my dear, there is nothing to fear Just a stitch and a sew Soon it's almost as new And the cat will adhere After all you have to Admit it is not as severe Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed Well, don't give me that kind of look now Just keep going on, soon you will See how everything will end well, though it still may depend on your skill I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants But yet needle and thread can bear dangers instead If you're clumsy and plump and all fingers and thumbs It might just turn out bad, especially when it comes To delicate operations like that Oh, I have needle and stitch right here Take care or you'll end up scarred, my dear I can't stand to watch children bleed I guess I should revise my statement The wound is not going to heal Forget about all that I said and Work harder on your stitching skill 
I catered for these circumstances And hands carry needle and stitch in my pants Now you pay the bill for your lack of skill And please do stop crying and mourning and sighing Don't weep like a whelp that is painfully dying I merely was trying to help I can't stand to watch children bleed. Hello, dear friends of Adventure Games. The spyware we installed on your computers tells me that many children are sitting at their screens again tonight. That's why I'll refrain from telling you the story that I had actually prepared for you. Of course, that's a real shame. It would have been such a good story. Entertaining explosions, a giant robotic opossum, but also with many offensive expressions and an inordinate amount of excessive violence. The story that I'll tell you instead has a slightly different flavor. It's about Lily, the most virtuous child in the entire world. And it begins in the courtyard of a small, sleepy convent school. Not too far from the place where the giant robotic opossum is sucking the brains of innocent bystanders out through their eye sockets. But enough of that. It's a beautiful, sunny day. And Lily is raking the leaves in the yard with a cheery tune on her lips. La, 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 la. Lily, how many times do I have to tell you not to sing while working? You know very well that I hate the sound of cheerful children. <laughs> These ch ch children are driving me crazy. Chapter One The Convent. Oh, there you are. Is that Moloch making you rip, 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 rake leaves again? Uh huh. Tch. How boring, and so unnecessary, too. The leaves all drift back onto the path anyway. You should just come with me instead. I'm on a treasure hunt right now, you know? Uh-uh. Well, it's your decision. You can always come to the swing tree later, when you're done here. I think I found something in the flower beds over there. Until then, see ya! There are frequent oh. reports of accidents caused by the mishandling of computer games. <laughs> to minimize the risk of a crippling deformity, we recommend that you strictly comply with all of the following safety guidelines. Right. Do you want to play the tutorial? Please, yeah, please. You've decided to play the tutorial. That's very smart of you. <laughs> and because you paid attention, you also know that with all these leaves here, the convent garden needs a good raking. Lily has already picked up the rake. Accordingly, the cursor now shows the picture of a rake. To discover the spots where Lily can rake, simply press the space bar. Why don't you just try it out right now? Okay, pressing space Would bar. Would you look at that? Oh. The red eyes show which items can be used. Apparently, there are three piles of leaves that Lily can use with the rake. Just move the cursor over one of the piles until the name of the item appears next to it. You can now make the move with a left mouse click. But be careful, accidents can happen so quickly. <laughs> okay, um... Let's do that. Hot diggity! You've taken the first step without giving anyone a deep flesh wound. <laughs> But your work isn't done yet. Finish the task for Mother Superior. It can't be that hard, can it? Uh, not really, no. Well, let's do this one back here. There we go. Oh, wait, now they're, now they're here again. Um, 
If I move those now to here, to the right one. And now this one. Oh no. No. <laughs> the game is making fun of me already. This can't be that hard. Um, we're just moving it back to here. That doesn't work. Let's take the first step with the <laughs> I need to read the tutorial again. But your work is done yet. Finish the task. Yep. Well. What's that oh. noise outside? That's me. Yeah, it's me. Lily, <laughs> now I've had it up to here. I guess I overestimated you once again. You're not even fit to rake leaves. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I have two new tasks for you. Okay. The flower beds in the backyard have to be dug up again. Can you manage that? Uh huh. I doubt it, but we'll see. And while you're in the backyard. The swing tree is infested by termites. Uh -oh. Come up with something to get rid of them for good. So, one more time for the really clueless. First, dig up the flower beds. Second, get rid of the termites infesting swing tree. You'll be very sorry if you don't do a good job. Lily has finished raking. She's no longer holding the rake in her hand, but she still got it with her. If you would like to use it again, you can find it in Lily's inventory. Move the mouse cursor to the lower right edge of the screen to open the inventory. Be careful you don't get your finger caught. <laughs> Amputations are such unhappy affairs. <laughs> get your finger caught. Look at that finger. That is a finger as well, isn't it? Just, just a little side note there. Good. Now, click on the rake symbol with the left mouse button to pick up the rake again. You can now use the rake with other objects at any time, even with other inventory items. When you're done, use the right mouse button to carefully put the rake back into the inventory. <laughs> Left mouse button, pick it up. And right mouse button to... Now that pick. Lily has been relieved of her first task, it's time to get familiar with the basic game mechanics. Press the left mouse button to send Lily wherever you want. Whenever Lily can leave a location, the cursor changes into an error. First, follow Edna in the backyard. The exit can be found at the right edge of the monitor. But be careful, that their error is sharp. <laughs> oh my god. We can't go to there, but we can, we can move around like that. Okay. Yep. And there it goes to the backyard. Let's go to there. When doing garden work, remember, stay alert. The cursor changes whenever Lily can interact with an object. Most objects can be examined. If so, an eye will appear on the right half of the cursor. Click with the right mouse button to execute this action. Why don't you try it on the compost barrel? Sure. Um, oh yeah, there, the right side of my cursor. By the way, this cursor is like an, uh, a rabbit, a rabbit uh, head. So let's take a look at it. The yard waste was rotting away leisurely in the composting bin. A paradise for maggots and spiders. Lily couldn't stop watching the fascinating activity in there. <laughs> there are many items that you can interact with. Whenever an item can be used, a corresponding symbol is shown in the left half of the cursor. For example, you could suggest that Lily uses the tie swing. But whether that is really such a good idea, yeah, I'd say so. Let's take a look at it as well. The tire swing was dangling invitingly above the chasm <laughs> of <a> termite eaten <laughs> branch. That can only go well. Lily would have loved to have played on the completely harmless <laughs> tire swing. Uh uh. What? That's why she immediately climbed on the termite infested <laughs> tree. <laughs> At least she would have done that, but apparently she preferred the <laughs> risk of getting into deep trouble as soon as the player signed off. <laughs> Luckily, that turned out well. Next to the hand that stands for use, take, and eat drink, 
is also a speech bubble for talk. The computer automatically selects the right icon. This ensures that Lily neither puts her hand in a hornet's nest, nor eats thumbtacks. <laughs> Seeing as you're already here, have a chat with Lily's friend Edna. She will certainly be pleased. All right, um, Edna, let's take a look at her first. Edna was Lily's best friend. She always knew how to cheer up Lily. For example, by sabotaging the brakes on the mailman's bicycle. <laughs> and now let's talk to her. Hey, Lily. Did you finally get out of doing your stupid raking chore? Uh-huh. Very good. Then you finally got time to go treasure hunting with me? Uh-uh. What? Did you get even more chores to do? Uh-huh. That's so unfair. But maybe we can still find a way for you to help me. That would be cool. Lily can discuss various topics. These are displayed as symbols at the bottom of the screen. The meaning of each symbol is displayed when you move the mouse over them. Any dialogue can be ended with the red X at any time. First, select the topic, Chores Assigned by Mother Superior. That would be those then, I guess. Yep. What do you have to do for Mother Superior now? Don't tell me you have to scrape off her warts with a pumice stone again. <laughs> I'm still finding crumbs in our bunk from last Ew. time. Lily can sometimes expand on a topic. In this case, she can talk about her two new tasks. But you can also use the arrow to return to the first level of dialogue and choose another topic. Return to the first level and end the dialogue with X to close the tutorial. Or you can talk a while with Edna. I can't teach you anything more anyway. Have fun playing. All right. Thank you, tutorial dude. Um, let's talk about the termites. Uh, she told you to get rid of the termites on the swing tree, right? Uh-huh. <sighs> it was just a question of time. <laughs> Does she even realize how hard it was to collect them all? <laughs> I even broke into the firefighters museum to get the large oh red ones. And then all the trouble I went to teaching them tricks. They can already do a polonaise if you lay a trail of jelly. I wanted to teach them the cha-cha next. Ugh, what the hell. Maybe you can relocate them instead of blasting them out or whatever else it was you had planned. I'd even help you, but I've run out of jelly. Okay, and what we also have to do is... Uh, uh, wait, Lily. This is an especially hard spot. Oh, what a drag. This is ruining all my calluses. And it took me so long to nurture them. <laughs> These flower beds could really use some digging. Uh-huh. Don't tell me that's exactly what Mother Superior ordered you to do. Uh-huh. But that's fabulous. Then you'll be able to help me dig up the treasure after all. You don't even have a choice. You've been kind of told to by the Lord. All we still need is a shovel. Okay, um... Uh, what I just wanted to mention though at this point is that I will try to do absolutely everything in this game. To talk to everybody and, um to take a look at everything, to combine everything possible. Um, as I at least tried in Dios Agus, but it didn't really work out, I know. I've, I've failed like two major things, but... Um, yeah, let's let's talk about the artificial jelly. Um, are you still worried about the termites? I'd really love to help you, but unfortunately, I don't have any more jelly to lure the little darling someplace else. But when we found the treasure, we can buy ourselves a whole jelly factory, or even better, a honey farm. I think honey is much cooler than jelly anyway. It sticks to the bottoms of your shoes better. And if we had a honey farm, we could also train the bees. Maybe there's still a chance for my project. Peepholes for the Great Wall of China, after all. Okay. <laughs> uh, now let's talk about the shovel. Um, the shovel, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. Um, uh... I don't know where we can find a shovel either. I'd imagine they're kept in the cellar. Now we just need to find a way to get down into the cellar. You can't walk through walls by any chance, can you? Uh-uh. We really have to teach you how to do that one of these days. But first you should concentrate on the shovel. It has top priority. Okay, um... Oops, that was my game just closing. Right, um... Let's talk about Mother Superior treasure. Mother Superior. <sighs> Mother Superior is having a bad day again, isn't she? Uh-huh. That wasn't hard to guess. The last good day she had was when everyone got mum. <laughs> I've rarely heard her laugh so <gasps> hard. Don't let her annoy you too much, okay? Okay, now let's talk about the treasure hunt. Um, I'm 
sure you're dying to know how the treasure hunting's going, right? Uh-huh. Well, to be honest, not so great. The ground is just too hard. I doubt I'll be able to find anything here without a shovel. But I already have lots of cool dirt under my fingernails, and I even <laughs> swallowed a slug by you. accident. A small consolation from Mother Nature. <laughs> That's gross. All right, um, we can leave for now. Leave her and um, have a statement to gone. And what else can we do? I can just take a look at that. I can take a look at those termites. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Why did Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much? I don't know either. Um, flower bed. Lily was supposed to dig up the flower bed. If she found a treasure in the process, no one could hold that against her, right? Absolutely not. Can we dig with her, with Edna? Don't bother, Lily. We'll never dig up the treasure without a shovel. All right. Um. So I have to get a shovel. Um. So that seems like there was everything here. Oh no, there's a hole. Tree. The swing tree was crawling with termites. Why did Mother Superior dislike these cute little animals so much? All right. We got a rake in our inventory and a ball of wool for some reason. And um, yeah, there's that, that Edna, there's the girl from the from the title. You don't play her in this chapter, but you played in the in the previous game, in the first game of the series. Um, so that's where the name comes from. Let's go back to the school pond. Because apparently we have to find the shovel in the basement. Cellar door. It's locked. Um, how do you pronounce that? Faucet? Something? Garden hose. Where could the hose lead to? Hmm. Is that the same hose here? Faucet. Cellar window. Oh wow. Um, but we can't do anything, can we? Um, air hammer. When I have Lily that. Lily knew that this device was called an air hammer, but she didn't know why anyone would want to hammer air. <laughs> Can we take it? The idea was good, but Lily's arms were too short. Oh. Um. Okay. Well, that was to be expected, right? What kind of food. Digested grass, rat, <laughs> pigeon. <laughs> Lily assumed these cans were meant for the cafeteria. <laughs> the idea was good, but Lily's oh. arms were too short. Her arms were too short again. I, I assume they are too short. My, mine would be too short as well. There's a shovel. That's a what shovel? Need. That's exactly what Lily needed. Yeah, but, but she'd never get to it from here. <laughs> no, I assume that the idea was good. Yeah. But Lily's arms were too short. short. Okay. <laughs> There's a stove. Um The idea was good. Her but arms, Lily's okay. arms were too short. Her arms were too short. I was expecting that. Um what else can we do? We can do a brush. A brush was lying on the shelf directly below the window. Lily just had to reach out. Can we take it? Yeah. I almost went up too short for that. Um, anything else in here? Took that? Yeah, that was all. All right, we can go back to the school pond. And um, cellar door. This one's obviously, obviously locked, right? The cellar door could only be opened with the correct key. Right, yeah, I was speaking to. Expected that. And um, a bush. Lily would have also made a good bush. She could stand on the sidelines for hours without anyone <laughs> noticing her. <laughs> Yeah, astonishing that this girl doesn't basically say a single word. Uh, word, not a word. What is here? Lily was excited. Where could the hose lead to? What a surprise! <laughs> the hose led to a um, thing. Yeah, what is it? It looks like an engine, a pump. Yeah. Um, can we do there anything else before we do that? Uh. We can take the garden hose here. What can we? Do? What can we do with it? Oh. Um. No. Uh, let's do that later on. Uh, first the pump. Lily, turn <laughs> that off immediately. <laughs> Okay, uh, there's a pump for some reason. Um, what can we do with it? That is the question, though. We can also... Um, 
beautiful so can we do something you know too bad the faucet was dry okay that thing is empty and um hmm. i guess we gotta go then back to here to the well yeah obviously um but that is what i'll do in the next chapter and uh next chapter next episode rather and um, well, you guys can tell me what you think about this project, this series. I'll, I'll definitely go in with it because I just love this game, honestly. Although I've, I've played it like already, it was like two years ago when it came out. I don't know, I'm not exactly sure. And I played it in German, so I might have some some problems with understanding it in English sometimes. But um, I'll be fine with that and I hope you like the project so far. And I see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>